Look what I found. Baby Ceratophoras. Aetherus Ceratophora babies. Woohoo! Look at these little cuties. There's mom back there and there's some dead ones. Oh, you're a lively little guy. Woohoo! Oh! Oh, we're a little monster. Rawr! That's what I like to see. Strikey little babies. Look at you, you're a strikey one. Ooh, you're a big bad Ceratophora. Well, so goes my plans for the evening. I was uh, going to force feed uh, uh, some baby, um, uh, the baby Cornudas, the ones that aren't eating. Uh, but uh, I have uh, uh, captive born baby Ceratophoras, Aetherus Ceratophoras, horned bush vipers, or Unsabara mountain bush vipers. Here's another little guy. Oh, come on, focus, you stupid camera. Well, that's impressive. Look at that. You're in your first shedding already. There's a second one back there. I have to watch out. I gotta get that thing out of there. That mama. Uh, eats anything in sight that moves. I found one baby that was uh, uh, dead on arrival here. I don't know when they were born. Uh, this is sort of a patternless, very, very evil girl. Uh, it's been a while since I've done so. Uh, it's been a while since. Cam. Whoa! Here, you hang out there. Oh, she's just biting everything. <clears throat> oh, she's not gonna hang out. She's gonna, she's gonna visit the, the gravitational well here. Okay, you've got to be temporarily uh, uh, corralled. Are you gravid or just? No, you're just full of crap. Here, you go in there. Hold on, folks. I gotta find a place to put this little girl. Okay. I have to be really careful. This guy, as you can see, he's a uh, live wire, or she is. Now let's see who else we might have kicking around here. There's mom. Let's uh, say hello to mom and see how she's doing. She has been, uh, of course, fasting and uh, not really eating uh, since she arrived here. Oh, you look a lot skinnier. No, don't do any falling for me, huh? How you feeling, huh? It's a wa very watchful mom uh, checking me out. You know, I, I really love these uh, herbcages.com uh, cages. Uh, they're absolutely f the best uh, arboreal enclosure that I've worked with. Uh, for some reason, they just don't like, you know, they're not good uh, lighted uh, places for photography. No. Oh. <laughs> Sort of forgot that these little snappers were nearby. Uh, let's clear some space and bring them out for a view. Oh, they are so cute. Look at these guys. And cute uh, also means that they've got to be very difficult to get food into. Uh, uh, they will, of course, require lots of my time uh, to get them started and everything else. Just to give you um, a size idea, 
Okay, now be good, don't bite me. Um, you know, there's a uh, size comparison. And for my metric friends out there, well, it's the next morning after these guys were born, and one is perched here. The other one is perched there. Here's number three. And there's the fourth little guy. And there's mom back there, where she normally is. Look at these cute little buggers. If I can get these bloody things to focus. There we go. There we can see the little bugger's horns. Baby Atheris Serratophora cam. Hi guy. Oh! Where'd you go? Oh, good thing you got a prehensile tail there, bud. Here's the little guy that bailed out. He's very interested in the camera. Is it going to eat me? Probably not. But I am going to throw it against the wall if it doesn't focus. Yep, and there's mom. Mom wasn't watching me, but has decided that uh, that she probably should. Hi, mom. You're not gonna hurt your babies, I promise. Let's see if we can get this little nipper to uh, to take a a mouse leg. Oh, we got the mouth open anyway. Go ahead. That's the right idea. There you go. <clears throat> it's interesting because serratophoras uh, do this little saw scaling routine uh, when they're on the ground and not in the tree. Obviously it would be very difficult to hold on and, and saw scale if they were in a tree. It's not quite in the right position. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you don't want it, huh? You don't want it. Want to try it again, no? Orioles don't like their tail messed with under any circumstances. Oh. Come on, you can eat it. Come on, just take it down. You know, I could assist you. I know you don't like that fuzzy in there, do you?
This is the one that has a deformed uh, uh, rear spine. He's not a perfect, he or she is not a perfect little specimen. So the bump there, the deformity, it's really tough to see from an angle. And then also uh, down here at the tip of the tail, uh, that's not uh, properly formed either. Um, but we'll have a go at it, won't we, bud? Huh? I don't know if you're a little boy or a little girl, because you're a little too ha small to, to handle and to, uh, uh, to be rough with, especially if you've got, you know, a deformity down there. I hope uh, the plumbing and everything is okay. Uh, you could certainly live with that if if everything else is okay. And I see that leg is a little bit further down the uh, uh, down the hatch than it was when we started. You know, once again, just to give you an, an idea, of the size of animal we're dealing with here. Uh, some people said that I have no sense, but I do at least have one. And you can see the size of uh, uh, Mr. Serrata Fora's head compared to the penny. And boy, that, uh, that little piece of uh, leg is way down there. So these are uh, some of the tiniest babies you get to work with. Uh, but uh, by no means uh, as small as uh, Peringuini, uh, Bittus Peringuini. Um, hey, look. Go ahead and just suck it down. Hey. Good job. Here, let's see if you want to go for a second one. Huh? Wow, that's really in there. Huh? You want to try that? It'll go down easier if you push it down with the second one. You know, just like every sort of mother, you got to sort of bribe the kids to, to eat. I just got rid of that damn thing in my mouth and now I got another piece. How is this happening to me? Go ahead. That'll be it. Aw, oh, alright. Well, look, I'm not going to press the luck here because we got one little piece down him. And he does seem uh, excessively cranky. Uh, so I'll put him in there. Oops. Sorry, bud. Come on. Well, that's pretty good. You got a, got a leg up on you. Okay. Here we got another little... Uh, Little beastie. Come on. I want to yeah, there we go. Ooh, this is a... Oh, it's feisty. Here, hold on a second. There. We have a better view of uh, the, the festivities. Come on. Oh, good for you. You went down for it. Oh, that's a very good sign. Now, if only the, uh, the Bittus Cornudas would do that. Now, look, I put him in a ring so he doesn't saw scale himself off the table here. And in this ring, weighing 570 milligrams of Therus Serratifora. All right. Now, if... He looks like he's going to eat. Sometimes to calm them down and let them focus on eating, I'll, uh, I'll cover them. Voila! And moments later, it's down the hatch. That's very good, little guy, huh? That was pretty tasty. 
Not so bad. Okay, three out of four have they uh, eaten so far. Oh, you're such a little monster. I know, I love ceratophores. You guys are just so foul. You guys are just so foul. Huh? You want to go back in your cage? Come on. You can go back in with Mom. I tried feeding Mom, uh, but Mom's uh, uh, hormones are such that they're not allowing her to... Uh, uh, her feeding response has been put temporarily uh, on hold. 